In AutoCAD architecture, to do renderings using the sun, you need to turn it on and set up its location. Let's review how to do this. There are two different places where you may do this. The first is on the Render tab, Sun and Location panel. I'll expand the Set Location dropdown. There are two options, From Map and From File. Clicking From Map requires signing in to your Autodesk 360 account. If you cancel this process, the Geographic Location Specify Location dialog box page 1 of 2 appears, prompting you to sign in. Clicking the Use Maps button again opens the Autodesk Sign In dialog box. After signing in, the dialog box has two tabs at the top left. Road has two options, Road and Automatic. Aerial has two options, Bird's Eye and Aerial. There is also an arrow on the left to access search results. At the top, enter a location in the address area. Enter Philadelphia, and then click the search tool, and the search results appear. I'll hover the cursor over Philadelphia, PA, and then click the Drop Marker Here button. At the bottom of the dialog box, I'll click Next. On page 2 of 2, Select the GIS coordinate system closest to your location. Scrolling down, I'll click PA-S under the Name column. Click Next. At the prompt, select a point for the location. I'll pick the place the geolocation glyph. At the Select North Direction OR prompt, I'll drag up at 90 degrees and pick. After the geolocation glyph is placed, a new tab is added to the ribbon named Geolocation with two panels, Location and Map Tools. On the Map Tools panel, click the Map Aerial option to change your background. Choose among Map Aerial, Map Road, Map Hybrid, and Map Off. I'll click Map Off. The other way to set a location is from the Render tab Set Location dropdown. Click from File to open the geographic location, import a KML or KMZ file dialog box. I'll click Cancel. Next, we'll set the sun status. The date and time sections on the sun and location panel are grayed out, meaning that the sun status is currently off. I'll click the sun status tool, which opens the viewport light mode dialog box the first time, and recommends turning off the default lighting. Default lighting is used as general illumination so that images are not totally black when they are rendered. There is a variable named default lighting that allows you to turn it on or off. I'll turn it off. The sun is now on. And notice that date and time are now available. You may use the sliders to adjust the date or time. You may also access this information using the dialog box launcher of the Sun and Location panel title bar. This opens the Sun Properties palette. Inside, there are a variety of settings. In the Sun Angle Calculator section, you may adjust the date and time. At the bottom, the current geographic location is listed. So you may access Sun settings from both the Sun and Location panel or from the Sun Properties palette.